Hello everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So good morning. Okay, well y'all are not seeing this in the morning. I never post in the mornings. I just woke up though. It's like 8 a.m. right now. Rolled out of bed, brushed my hair, put a little concealer on and I was like, hell yeah, let's get to work. So if you guys do or don't know, I actually made a video um, last week talking about the WFAB training that was sent to me, who is from the inside, which is really, really great. We were able to kind of talk about the realities of WFAB, what they're expecting of you and so much more, which I think is really good to show because again, it gives someone an insight of what to expect when you're joining, which I think is important because we need transparency with the stuff. And I can't prevent everyone from joining a company, an MLM, a scam, or WFAB in general. But what I can do is when I get information that is helpful and shows the real reality of it, I can show that. I think that's very important. We are going to cover though, because my video pissed some people off, and we're going to kind of cover conversations and responses to it. So before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. My merch, vlog channel, and podcast are in the description below which by the way, if you guys want to connect with me and listen to healthy self-love with a podcast, see fun vlogs and so much other personal stuff, you're like, you should check out my vlog channel. I'm just saying. Without further ado, let's get into it. So real quickly, I want to preface this by saying and make this very clear. I've said this many times, but I think especially to start off the video to make damn sure, because I know they watch my content, that this cannot be twisted or even if it is, it's quite obvious if someone checks the video. I do not hate them. I hate what they're doing. I hate the actions of WFAB or any MLM or any scammer for that matter, any individual that's doing harm to other people, I hate those actions. I don't hate them as people. They're not exempt from my empathy either. Meaning if they do something right, if they acknowledge something that's realistic, if they preach something that's healthy, I'm going to acknowledge that because I'm not a f idiot. A lot of people when it comes to my content are highly predictable. And what I mean by that is have a response that I know is going to happen if I post up specific content. If I get something, it was a training that was sent to me. I know that is going to evoke a response from people. And every time, and I've paid attention to this, every time that I've made content like that, and it was something that wasn't like publicly posted, for example, it was a training that was sent to me anonymously that I could react to, that every time evokes a response. And so with that, I did get responses. I knew that you guys were going to like send it to me. So I was like, okay, it'll come. And so sure as shit, I see my face pop up on Jasmine's story. So the part where I'm talking about, I would love for them to see how funny they think all of this stuff is if this is posted up publicly. And so, and many of them post up my screen recording of saying that, and then a meme of them like saying us, and they're like laughing at it. Two real quick things I want to point out when it comes to these. One, it's very telling when my username, name, and everything is purposely cropped out. I have a very very, very secure belief in myself and my content to where I will show your social media. I do not hide that because I know at the end of the day, majority of people who are coming to my content, they are going to realize the logic behind what I have to say. They're going to realize that even if I don't say anything, what they're posting is not healthy and not normal and hurts other people. And with that, if they go to the pages, I have the belief that hardly anyone is going to be going over there that actually is giving them literal support. Of course, there's going to be some people. And by some, I'm talking a very few amount of people that go over who automatically support MLMs and I couldn't change their mind to begin with. Whereas there's a lot of people that come to my page, see their stuff, go and look. They're not giving them that kind of support. Whereas it's ironic how they crop up my name and hide as much as they can to find me because I'm sure they don't want people in their downlines to come find me and who I am. And I think that truly shows how they know my capacity because why would you crop out so much of my channel so where nobody could find me? And also another point that I would like to say is I was saying, is it funny now? And and I feel like they had no choice but to laugh at this point because it's not funny. It's not funny when you're shown that you lie to people purposely and you claim that you don't post specific things. It's not funny. It's not interesting. And so I feel like they were put in a corner to where essentially they had to pretend that they were laughing and that, oh, we were okay with this. It doesn't matter. And I feel like this is also a big thing because they have to show a big face to their downlines. If their downlines are able to see that their uplines are unbothered and <laughs> unbothered, they're literally going to be like, oh, if the top leaders are not thinking this is a problem, then maybe I shouldn't think that's the problem. Another story that was posted up after this by Jasmine and was reposted by others was like three screenshots of my face and then like, oh, she's bothered or something like that. I don't remember. You say I don't watch my content. You say you don't give a f about what I have to say. Yet that timestamp is pretty far in my video. So someone's 
watching, you go out of your way to screen record. Then you go out of your way to crop because it's not like it's the full screen. I literally, when I react to something like my visual is like down in the right hand corner. So you go out of your way to screenshot it or screen record the perfect point and then you crop it down. <laughs> I'm like, again, yes, I do that, but I do that for the purpose of showing you the problematic shit with them. Whereas it's like, what is, what's the purpose of this? It's very telling when all you can do, all you can do to rebuttal what I have to show about you, what I have to comment about your own words, very telling when all you can do is make fun of me. That's it. And again, with, with my content, there's a purpose behind it because when I'm petty, it's petty with a purpose, okay? So for example, I did post up on my community tab. The FBI can waterboard it out of me that I didn't shower for a week for a multi-level marketing company because I would not want my room to smell like hot ass and misery all for a multi-level marketing company. Why? Because that's very weird and problematic and it's also problematic to encourage such toxic behavior from your downlines because again, it's not like you're getting out of surgery and can't shower, right? It's not like you're a brand new mom. None of those things. You're encouraging toxic behavior for an MLM and you've even embody the toxic behavior. So yeah, there's a purpose behind that. Whereas if all you can do is make fun of me, that's pathetic. Now there was another post that Jasmine like reposted, which is real. She made a while ago that was talking about anti MLMers. And she says, when it's been years and you, you're still... <sighs> You spelled you are wrong. You're still putting money in a bully's pocket because attention is currency and any type of views will get you paid in the online world. Bullies. This isn't a fucking Disney Channel middle school show. Bullies? Grow the fuck. Like, please. Still putting money in bullies pockets. Funny enough, actually, the WFAB videos do not make me the most money. Like, I'm going to be full on route with you. Actually, I've hit a point to where my deep dives and other things do make the most in income, which I'm, hey, that, that's really cool. I can have the diversity of non-MLM and MLM content. That's great. All I'm saying is they genuinely do not make me a lot of money. Like they seriously do not, but I'm going to cover them. Why? Because they're a prominent conversation, I would say. And they are someone that I think that is very aggressive in trying to recruit a lot of people. And so therefore I want to cover it and show the problems. And yeah, when I get a submission of a training that is airing out all of their bullshit, yes, I'm going to show that because people have a right to know what the fuck they're joining. It's not like they're blowing $5 a join. They're, they're blowing insane amounts of money to get in these companies. That's not a low amount. I do get DMs of people saying I used to be a part of it. I know people that are a part of it. I'm sending this to you because again, I used to be a part of it and it breaks my heart because those are the people that are coming to me talking about it and people have a right to know. So that way the people that are DMing me, I'm hoping there's less of them because it's heartbreaking to see that many people telling me that they've been hurt by this team. Also, she says, because attention is currency and any type of views will get you paid in the online world. Okay, if any type of views get you paid, why aren't you getting paid well for your social media content? Because you're pulling somewhat decent amount of views on social media. Why aren't you getting paid for that? And better yet, why aren't you doing what I'm doing? And I would like to kind of get this out of the way and say, no one had to like me. People chose to stay. And that is something I'm very grateful for. Now, there's many people that have made similar content like I do, right? And that's valid. However, no one had to like me. And just because I'm make a video doesn't mean that someone has to stay. There's quality, there's information, and some people simply stay because of me, which I am beyond grateful for. Immediately, the response of what I have to say is being minimized and acting as if what I do is just very basic. You're getting paid off of me. And then you guys, Sabrina posted up finally. She posted up an Instagram story that said, guys, guess what? I can officially say that I've made it. Clearly, if you don't have haters, you're not loud enough. I literally have, and she threw up just a random made up number, videos of me on YouTube. Love that for us. You, ha you have the privilege of saying that you've made it when I talk about you, you're giving me a lot of power when you say that you've made it simply because I've talked about you. Now, again, I'm not a massive content creator and I acknowledge that, but you're giving me a lot of power when you vocalize that you've made it simply because I've talked about you. And clearly, if you don't have haters, you're not loud enough. Again, I think we need to differentiate the concept between haters and actual criticism because there's people that are unrealistic, abnormal, weirdo haters that provide genuinely nothing and they're being odd and they're harassed like honors that that of course is realistic but we also have people that are saying wow look at this that was sent to me here's why this is wrong here's my conversation and commentary on why this is hurting people and this is why I think that you should avoid it and then there's the people that just have zero substance and are being goofy as hell, okay? And it's very obvious where my content falls into. So with all that being said, though, I was like, okay, I think I'm picking up a pattern of who specifically, though, can't shut the f up about this. So I actually got a, a message from somebody that was saying, hey, um, Sabrina actually went live. And I was like, no shit. So I got on there and I made some comments, right? Keep in mind, it's a Friday night. I have done my skincare routine and I'm feeling good. Meanwhile, they're out trying to talk about how the promo is extended for their MLM and they're still working on a Friday night. So so let's watch that. They're talking about the promo and they're discussing all these things. And Sabrina said something about making six figures. What the 
fuck ever. But then I comment, hmm, interesting how your own CEO in the FTC says most people don't make much money and false income claims aren't allowed, which is true. The CEO says the majority of people, which I'll play right here, don't make money. Until they are completely comfortable. Well, that's very different than just copy and paste. That's really understanding what you're doing, how you're doing it, why you're doing it before you ever start to, to do it. And so it's very different than, than copy and paste. We are not a, a, a copy and paste program, if you will. So that, that type of terminology and, and language should never be used. But what is not accounted for here, so this is somebody who took a picture of, of that PL calculator that lives on the Endotech page, but it is absolutely not okay for an IGNIS distributor to post that screenshot. And here's why. Once again, this is not telling the whole story. It, this shows that you know some timeline, somebody put some, some money in and, and how much money they would have it's not accurate. This doesn't account for the licensing fees and the profit sharing agreement and all the other uh, you know, nuances from one exchange to the other. Guys, you can't do it. Don't do it. Uh, you will be terminated if you do it. Uh, and so, you know, to tell people, look, you know, these products have been working well for me. So therefore, you know, you, you could expect this type of return or, you know, this is what you could expect because this is what I received. Doesn't matter. Any sort of implied income claim, any sort of projections, whether hypothetical or not, you must avoid at all costs and never provide anything even remotely close to a, a, an income claim or a projection, uh, you know, based on anything. Uh, right, cool. So let's go into kind of talk about and, and show some, some examples of people making these types of income claims. You know, this is one where, uh, you know, this person, I just hit the $10,000 a month mark. Um, you know, we just launched blah, blah, blah. There's three types of people that, you know, not only is this post really, really pretty distasteful in the way that it kind of has a condescending tone to it about how 97% of you will never make 10,000 a month, blah, blah, blah. This is just a, a terrible in so many ways. But the bottom line is that it uses specific numbers. Uh, it doesn't, you know, have any of the appropriate disclaimers or anything else like that, which, you know, you, you can't use any numbers anyway, even if you did have disclaimers, but it's terrible. Uh, but it's an example of something that, you know, somebody has posted out there. We, we were able to snag this from social media. Um, not all these come from our company. These are just examples of, of things we saw out there. But this one on the right, this is actually a screenshot from, you know, our back office, uh, again, that we took, but you could never take a screenshot showing, you know, because you might say, well, look, I have somebody that wants to, they, they don't believe and they want to know that I'm, I'm having success with the business. So I took a screenshot. Never, ever, ever should you take screenshots uh, and post those screenshots ever, 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 or, or email those or message those as far as what you are making. Uh, that is absolutely uh, not appropriate, not allowed, and would be a, a direct violation of this policy. Then additionally, this screenshot talking about how the FTC says most people, even doesn't matter how hard they work, make literally no money. So again, why are you saying you need to invest in yourself? Listen to what they're saying before. They're being, with the way that they're promoting this promo, it's gross. There's a promo right now. If you don't join, because you don't want to change your life, period. Because like... It's the best time to join. Where, where's the new year, new me? <laughs> where's the new year, new me? People, a lot be, people be forgetting about these goals. Yeah, a lot of people say new year is same me. What happened to these goals you said in, in, in January, in December? How? So basically my love right now, send me a DM. Naria. Um, send me a DM. So basically you can get started at, this, at a discounted price personally. I don't even know why we have a promo because I think you should still want to join with no promo, but that's something else. I think the prices are already cheap. Yeah. For what we have. For so, the services that we have, for the results that you can get, yeah. for the love that you can get. That you yeah, so stop make. sleeping on yourself and join my motherfucking team. You can save $150 off the Elite, $60 off the premium. I didn't even save money and I turned my investment into six figure income. But then you want to change your life. Oh, okay. Like it's highly condescending and it's really disrespectful to people. And so this is when I pop in and I make my comment talking about how it's interesting because most people say most people don't make any money. And so I wanted to see how she was going to respond to this. You want to make some money, DM? I didn't do no in no no income claims. Six figures could be anything. You do the math. So you can come at me all you want, Isabel. I think you're wasting your time tonight. So I think you should get out this live and maybe go make some money somewhere else, right? But thank you for the view and thank you for the comment. I appreciate you, God bless you. Which is ironic because the second I post up a video and I don't touch it anymore, all of that's residual income. So the second I post up a video, I don't touch it anymore, but it still makes me income, which is amazing. So as I'm sitting here, my content is wonderfully making me money. I have, I am. Like that's the beauty of actual residual income, you know, not like depending on a team for that. <laughs> you know what, Isabella, I love it when I get hate. You know why? Because it proves me that I'm doing something right. 
thank you so much because you coming on this live increases my views, which increases my engagement, which increases the the amount of people that see me. Yeah. This is when I comment, don't you encourage people to cold message every day hundreds of people? So the reason why I commented this, I honestly, frankly, wanted to see how they responded because on here, what I will show you the very specific clips is where Sabrina says she doesn't talk about how she messages hundreds of people a day or gets on calls. Why? And I quote, because no one wants to join that. You see, sometimes there's things we don't show, but don't get it twisted. The reason why Jasmine has a level of success like that today is because she's been willing to understand why she's here and she's able to leverage other leaders. Doesn't mean she doesn't show up. Don't get it all twisted. We decide what we show on social media because we do social media for a living. I am intentional in the way that I post that even when I post fun stuff, I'm intentional about it. So understand that sometimes I think you take it to the first degree. Oh, why do you think, do you really think I'm gonna show every day that, that I'm calling and texting the whole planet every day? No, nobody wants to join that. But it doesn't mean I'm gonna do that. And so again, it's funny how in the Zoom call, she vocalizes how no one wants to join that. That's why I don't talk about it. Now they've been putting us in a position where they're quartered to either deny it still or because it's out there and people have seen it, acknowledge it and pretend that it's their plan the entire time. And so when she's talking about also about how I'm helping her with my engagement, going back to my beginning argument, I literally show who they are on my platform. I have nothing to hide. If they are so much more successful than me when it comes to all this, they would be pulling at least equivalent engagement and views that I would be, right? However, I'm pulling more. And again, that's not me trying to be like, ha, you. Like that's literally me acknowledging the fact that I pull more when it comes to talking about them than they pull talking about themselves. And so when they say that I help with their engagement, no. <laughs> me commenting on one of their lives is not gonna suddenly pull in 50 more people to come in. That's not how that works. So this is when I was a little bit of an asshole and I said, you know, 11 viewers, like I love that for you. <laughs> yeah, so what? Do you know what the world, do you know what the industry of sales is? You know, I know you're watching me on an iPhone that you got sold on, right? Pause this and have a conversation about sales. So as someone who, hold on, let me grab it. I have my business degree right here, by the way. So I took many, many classes about sales. And so what I would like to say is I can know that there's also some things in sales that shouldn't be happening to begin with. For example, someone harassing someone in the DMs and cold messaging someone is a little bit weird. Two, yes, I am talking to you through a phone that I was sold to. The difference is though, Apple didn't cold message me to join the Apple team in order to make money, okay? That's that's not remotely the same, okay? You're selling people on a and dream and a false lifestyle. Apple is selling you on a product. Now, yeah, it's overpriced, of course. Two things can exist at the same time. Apple's probably not the most ethical company, of course, but they have their own ads and promotion as well. And so also I would like to acknowledge even, even if, okay, let's 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 play a fun game of pretend, right? Let's say Apple decided to start cold messaging people to purchase their products. I know at the end of the day, if I if that were to work on me, I would be getting an item, right? I would be getting an item. There's no catch when it comes to joining a team. I'm not investing money and I'm not paying money, for example, to where I have a 90% chance that I'm not getting this phone, right? If I join iGenius, there is a high, high percent that I will not be making any money. And if the FTC says it, and if their own CEO says it, then clearly there is a broad difference. It is not just purchasing a product. Most people, when it comes to the investment side and the MLM side, do not make any money. And again, when their own CEO clocks that shit and when the FTC says it, that is not the same thing. So again, your argument is highly invalid. Exactly. You're welcome, Isabella. I got you. No. 11 viewers love that for you. Oh, my love. I love that for me, too. I love that for me, too. At the end of the day, you're a part of these viewers, You're a right? part of these viewers. So you might as well quit before, because, yo, I'm at 13 now. You're increasing my views. Oh, Isabella, we might get a winner. But you should join my team, because you know what? I love how dedicated you are at Hate for me. If you have that dedication in this business, you will go very far. Mindset. Now keep in mind, after this, I'm quiet for a reason. Something I've learned about a lot of people is when I let them speak, they embarrass the fuck out of themselves and they say everything out loud and I just get to sit there and listen. I don't have to say much to get them to talk and I personally believe that Sabrina, for example, is one of those where she does not have enough self-control to not stop talking about the situation and just leave it alone. At least Jasmine, after a certain point, will drop it or other people will just drop it and, sorry, be smart enough to stop going at it again. And I, it clearly bothers her because this isn't the only live act, by the way, that she keeps complaining about this stuff. I'm not the little girl that does Monet anymore. It doesn't hurt me what you say. <laughs> anyway, promo is extended. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna send some money. Join me. 
probably need it, right? Can I also say that they acknowledge how sometimes they will hop on certain lives because, and it, this was towards, again, like the end of the month, because they want to get the last and as much people as they can to join in order to keep rank or hit a rank or whatever. I wonder if that live was because of it. Because again, it was on, Friday was on the 31st. That's the last day of the month. And they're on at like, what, 10 working? Like I'm again, literally for shits and giggles, I was hopping on. That was literally it. So I feel like that's quite telling of how someone needs to hop on alive to start indirectly begging people to join. Babe, but listen, no hard feelings. I have a spot for you. Let's get on the call tomorrow. Maybe I can break it all down. Maria, where are you from? Where do you live? Probably could me meet them. Just let me know where you're from. Yo, this is fire. Isabel, it's Freddy. Well, one do some exactly came. Go on my life, go tell her. Fuck man. What the fuck is this? You making me I'm trying to eat. I'm trying to enjoy my meal and tell you guys about the problem. Yo. The wine didn't even kick in, I'm already having a fight. Oh my god. Let me enjoy my wine, Isabel. Damn. But to everybody that's known my life, welcome, welcome. Promo is extended. It's, it's time, time to, to make some money. money. <laughs> and by the way, we have some new ranks popping up. So yep. while, you, while you mad, we making some money though. Yep. Didn't they say, you know, maybe I'm just stupid, I'm forgetting, but didn't they say on that call that I showed how every time they get on something, they always have to say certain things and, oh, Sabrina is the one that adds the sauce and milks things and if anything over exaggerates it and falsely advertises to you that they're doing well or some things are happening to the team when it's not? I'll, I'll play some of the clips. People want to know, is that person going to be helping me? Yes or not? If you've never been, guys, okay, so I wanted to come in here because I have so many messages. Every time I go on my story, I'm always on, I have messages. I'm on Zoom call, I'm busy, the team is willing, I'm trapped, there's all, you'll never see me on my story like, yeah guys, today honestly it was a very bad day, nobody's answering my DMs and like the team is not, not no, you got my stories, I'm, I'm always happy, I'm always energetic, I'm always doing something or promoting something, because that's what works. Nobody wants to join somebody that's depressed. Nobody wants to join somebody that's not moving. Nobody wants to join somebody that doesn't speak life into them. Yeah, so it's like, why do you expect me to believe that the team is growing and doing well when I was reacting to you saying how you fabricate things essentially to make it look like you're doing good or you and the team are doing amazing. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The team be winning. Team is winning, team is growing. We're putting MCL on the map. Stay mad. Is Isabel still here? Kane, let me see. Oh, she left. Oh, she's still on. Oh, she's she totally screen recording to put me on YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Follow me on Instagram at it's Sabrina I don't know. But because I always hide my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at it's Sabrina Yeah, you need to tag us. At least if you're doing hate videos on YouTube, just Yo, give, me the give me the credit. Again, I don't hide anything about you. You get the credit you deserve, but no one's coming to you for a very clear reason. If people thought I was crazy and stupid, then people would be going to follow you and instead following me. You see what I'm saying? And again, that's not me trying to be a dick. That's literally just me stating the obvious here. If my content was performing so well that you also would be performing well as well when it comes to social media. Okay, I'm abundant, use my content, you'll go viral. Yeah, that's, that's why. I'm abundant, use my content, you'll go viral. Going, they keep talking about promo, promo, why aren't you joining my team and being very disrespectful with how they talk to people. So now I wanna actually react to a live that was posted up last night actually, that someone sent me that was talking about this exact situation. So quickly, I noticed an immediate shift when it comes to some people and especially Sabrina with some of the stuff. They're going live all of a sudden. So what I'm getting at is, is they need to put on a face, I believe, and especially I believe they need to get on on social media and be more relatable and friendly because they realize some of the stuff that I talked about was right, hence why I see the shift in their content. <laughs> what do you want me to do? DMs? I texted the whole fucking city of Montreal. Straight up. Like, I don't even know why I should feel some type of way about it. I used to do that, not anymore. 
You know why? Because people take me every day to go join my team. Not according to that very recent video I made where I'll post it here. You say, I see other people doing well. Guess what? I'm going to go text my, some people so that way in two years I can be in that same position. Just saying. She says, Jasmine doesn't have to tell me to go message my people. She clearly cold messages people. Still, she admits that. It's your business. Like, I wasn't like, okay, well, Jasmine, I was on her story. She looks like she didn't text anybody today, so I think I'm not going to text anybody. No. I looked at her story. I was like, oh, she's living life. Yo, I want to live life. Mm, I'm not there yet. Look at my bank account. Mm, okay, clearly not connecting. I'm going to text 250 people. You see the difference? You don't do what you, you can't do what leaders do. You have to do what you know, you know you're supposed to be doing, but that you're not. That's what you have to do. Do you, like, for example, Rakan inspires me a lot. Kane inspires me a lot. Do you think I look at them and look at what they do on a daily and copy them? Okay, so today I'm going to go to the gym and look at my abs. And I'm going to go on a yacht. No, I don't do that. I'm like, wow, I wish I could do that. So you know what I'm going to do? Text some people. So in two years, I can be there. I'm not going to be like, you know what? I'm going to take a day off. Jasmine is at the spa. I'm going to the spa today. Spa day. She still mentors everybody. Like, yeah, maybe she's not like crazy texting the whole freaking planet. She's fine. She has a, a, an assistant for that. But you don't, you don't know these things. You don't know what, Jasmine, do you really? Yeah, she'll go at the spa, but will she really take a week off? You really, like, really don't? Do you see her not work at all? No. So again, this is another example of them being cornered by my content, Chelsea's content, because she reacted to this as well, because they have no choice then but to be like, yep, that was my plan all along. Don't can twist your own words then to make it to where you did this on purpose. You vocalize how you didn't want people to hear about this, but now that they know about it, clearly you have to get on and pretend that this was in your plan all along. And that right there is what I call embarrassing. You know what I mean? Like, I have a guest list and people think it gets like, I don't know. Even for my event, I texted people, but did I sell the fucking thing out? Yeah. What's the fucking problem? Actually, let's talk about this again. Did you sell the event out? Majority of people, I talked about this event, majority of people that were there were people who are already in the downlines. You didn't sell it out. You told people in your teams to show up. Even on that same call, Jessman said that you need to be showing up to all these events, telling these downlines to attend the events that they're hosting. And probably will, because we're not always at events, you know, that, right? Events is what's going to give you a lot of credibility, by the way. So everybody on this call should be at the next event. But we don't have events every day. So when they claim it's a sold out event and look at us, we're selling out events, they are encouraging and have admitted to encouraging their own downlines to show up. When you have to beg for an attendance to an event you're hosting, it's not that good. Like, I don't know, as if it was taboo, as if like I'm trying to hide it. What you did, that's the thing. If it's taboo, if I was trying to hide it. She is very good at manipulating and fabricating things to make it look like this was her plan. She openly admitted to hiding this. So understand that sometimes I think you take it to the first degree. Oh, why do you think, do you really think I'm going to show every day that, that I'm calling and texting the whole planet every day? No, nobody wants to join that. But it doesn't mean I didn't do that. Like, this is embarrassing you see what i'm saying and another thing i want to highlight as well is never ever ever is what i have to say argued with evidence right there is not there is nothing showing that what i'm saying is wrong and it also it's very telling when i'm allowing you to speak for yourself and you embarrass the fuck out of yourself and i didn't do anything to make that happen i had my commentary i talk about things and i discuss how wow see proving my point my theory i said several months ago or wow see cold messaging people wow look at the numbers most people don't make money see how this isn't worth your time Time. And so they keep going on and fabricating everything. But then when they finally talk about it in the situation or can talk about me in general, they never bring evidence. And that is what's so telling when you immediately have to resort to making fun of me, making very random outlandish claims, and then providing zero substantial evidence to argue with me and zero logic. I know that I've gotten into your head. I know that you feel embarrassed, but I know you have to put on a face because you have to say, look, I'm doing this and this is my intention all along and act like you are the the one that is in control when clearly you're not. Also, clearly you're not in control when I'm getting links to your Zoom calls from behind scenes from people who are involved still. So just saying. I don't know people sometimes are crazy. Like they make up stories in their mind and I'm just like, you're weird. Like I'm very open about it. Like network marketing is network marketing. Like period. But I don't know. People are just closed minded and nothing has to do because that video is an hour and a half long. Yo. In an hour and a half, you could have made like $600. Join my fucking team. Do something. I don't know. Why does she act like I'm just some broke bitch? I do this for a living. Like, I'm very, very fortunate to be comfortable to do this for a living. Don't want to share it because I don't, I think it's tacky as fuck in my opinion. I don't like flaunting anything. I think it's ridiculous. And I, I honestly, I like that she lives in the delusion thinking that I make nothing. I like that. Like you were doing something illegal and shit. Exactly. Like, be aware. I might go to jail. I might send you a DM. Like, guys, I don't... You see how I laugh? Because it's so dumb that, like, you know, it's just really dumb. You know, these people clearly don't do sales. And if you don't do sales, you're broke. Because literally, every day you sell or get sold. 
It's just what it clearly you're broke if you don't do sales. See the jabs that make no sense? Again, there's some jabs that should not even be said to them because they make illogical sense, right? I cannot say that they are miserable, horrible people because they don't like me. That's probably not true. They're probably not the most incredible people I would say right now, but do I think that they're miserable all the time? No, I can't say all of my haters are miserable. I think that's weird. Like <laughs> there are horrible people in this world that make money from doing bad things and they are happy. Do you need to acknowledge that kind of stuff? What I'm saying though is, is no, there's people who are not in sales that make money and do very good. There's lawyers, there's doctors, there's, there's many people in the world. And so for her to be like, if you're not doing sales, you're broke. Like you guys are watching me on your iPhone right now. You got sold on that. And you probably have the new one, the 15, 13 plus pro max gigabyte, trickabyte, whatever the case may be, because they keep updating. And you got sold on that too. Why? Because the F12 started to lag. I have the iPhone 13 and all of a sudden it's lagging. The hookah. I used to not smoke this shit. I got sold on it. Look at me now. Look at the damn thing in my fucking little room. In my office. You see? Like, come on. Look. I don't, I don't have time for that. You are falsely, and you stated, you have falsely fabricated and sold a concept to someone that does not work for most people. So that's not the same thing. That's misleading people to make a sale. If you're selling something and you're fully transparent, honestly, if they were fully transparent about the MLM side of things, I'm sure less people would join, but they don't have the privilege of doing that because they know damn well, and they vocalize this, people would not join that knowing that you have to cold message hundreds of people and do all of these things. So again, it's not an honest sale. It's a falsely advertised sale which is what we like to call over here a scam. Because the other day you want to know what type of hate I got? You have 8K, 8K followers and only 15 people on your live. I would be embarrassed. People have a fucking life, sir. Like, why? I was like, people have shits to do. Like, I'm just doing this live because I... You see what I'm saying where this individual fabricates something to make herself look like the victim? The only reason why I say she only had 11 viewers was because she only had 11 viewers and I was not changing that. And if I did, they would be higher. There'd be more people engaging, especially at the peak of me talking about her. You know what I'm saying? There's never going to be somebody that's actually successful for real that will take the time to hate on people. Straight up. So... I made peace with that. No, I don't care. If I get hate, I'm like, I'm fucking loud enough. When I don't get hate for a while, I'm like, mm, we're going to be louder. Lately, I've been getting a lot of hate, but guess what? My business has actually been doing fucking amazing. And I've been loud as fuck. And I'm on everybody's for you page. And the more you hate on me, the more views I get. The more views I get, the more people get to me. By the way, can I just say that I just saw that her TikTok account at 50,000 subscribers was banned? But yeah, Montreal team has been killing out. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Be ready for us. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some tea. But I can stay between us. On Wednesday, I'm launching something new. I'm launching, but I'm not going to. Oh, quickly. I've heard through the grapevine of rumors that the launch, and all, I'm going to be cackling if, I, if this is right. Allegedly, the new launch is a rebrand of WFAB and also a WFAB 2.0. So I think there's an extension team that's being launched. But additionally, I think WFAB is not going to be work from anywhere boss builders. I think going to be a rebrand, though. So they are changing the acronym. If that's all it is, then like that's boring. <laughs> so that was it for today's video. I'm going to stop that there because that was kind of the only stuff that I think that we could talk about. Otherwise, it would be highly irrelevant. You know, she has a right to get on her live, whatever. But my goal with this is, is to kind of show that it's important to see how they respond to quote unquote hate or anything that is showing exactly how they behave or going against what they do for a living. If there's enough substantial evidence to prove that I'm wrong and to show that there isn't an issue and everything that that should be showed, but it's not easy to do that and they don't have that. Therefore, their responses are more personal attacks and more making fun of instead of actually acknowledging the reality of things. Or if they do have an argument poorly done and it's one that we can easily go against and you know break down. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel and I will see my angels in the next video. Bye.